welcome to Horovax, one of the most important trade show of the watch industry, watches and wonders, opened their doors online this year for the first time. And uh, many of important brands released their novelties. Langezonje was one of them, and the CEO of the company, Mr. Willem Schmidt, will be our guest today. We will talk about the general situation and also their novelties. Mr. Schmidt, hello. How are you? I am very well. What about you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Sitting in La Suta, um, it's spring here. Um, so I'm not saying it's a normal situation, but uh, personally, I'm good. Okay, you are surviving. Okay, first of all, how was your uh, last uh, months, let's say, because, uh, you know, uh, it's an uh, I mean, interesting period for all of us. How are you spending your days? <laughs> Look, it's um, amazing how many things you have to do in times where none of your past experiences is really helping you. So, um, you know, you learn to explore the digital world. You learn how to explore all tools that you have. Um, you also learn to value personal relationship because you can base your negotiation, your discussion, your conversations on something. Um, it's, it's, I'm busy. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, two years ago, it was our last uh, interview. Uh, we were face to face next to each other. Uh, but now yes. we are in front of our computers and uh, doing the interview True. online. So, okay, uh, connected to this, uh, Watches and Wonders, uh, it was the first uh, digital uh, trade show uh, we have ever uh, joined, we have ever faced. Uh, Langezonje was a part of it. And uh, what do you think? How was that? I mean, uh, it's been a couple of days already. Uh, yeah. What are your comments about this first digital uh, trade show? Look, there was no alternative, either no launch, no presentation or a digital launch, because that's the only thing you can do at the moment. Um, we launched two watches, as you know, well, maybe three, if you distinguish yeah, the Odysseus yeah. with rubber strap and with a leather strap, and um, the Zeitwerk Minute Repeater and white gold with a blue dial. Uh, and so far, you know, if I follow what's happening in the digital world, um, it's been uh, an engaged discussion. Uh, there are lots of conversation. And from what I hear and see, uh, people enjoy that, you know, at least those that are into fine watchmaking, that there is some distraction from uh, a very challenging environment otherwise. Uh, okay, uh, let's talk about the novelties. We saw two or three, as you said, uh, from yes. Langezonje. Yeah? Uh, Odysseus, uh, you put us in a big trouble because uh, we were in the waiting list for the first version as a watch enthusiast, and now we have to write our name for the second one. Uh, so uh, where is this Odysseus uh, family is going? Uh, by the way, it is two or three uh, novelties, but should we expect, according to the situation, uh, some new novelties during 2020? Okay, so back to the Odysseus. Um, I, I promised at the 24th of October, as we launched the Odysseus in steel, that this is not a once-off watch. It is the beginning of a watch family. So it was pretty clear that for us and in the plan that we come up with new members of that family um, at Watches and Wonders. Um, and therefore, we launched these two watches because you know, quite a few of our collectors said, love the watch, but I don't like bracelets, regardless whether they're steel or gold. I prefer leather or rubber. So this is now the answer to their request. Um, and on second thing is, you know, we always said that the Odysseus is not meant to be a steel watch family only. We always said, mm -hmm there will be a wide variety of different iterations, different materials, different mix. And this is just a, a taste of how surprising the things can come. And that this is a family where we want to try things we haven't done before. Um, the, the minute repeater is something different. We'll come to that later. Yeah. Um, two watches we did on purpose. So one on the very high end, that side like minute repeater, the other to fulfill the promise. Um, but of course, there is more throughout the year. 
uh, we'll see how the situation eases up. Um, and there are a couple of uh, things that uh, we have in a pipeline to um, further surprise uh, people that are into fine watchmaking. Okay, very good. Uh, just time uh, we all, the watch enthusiasts, are wondering, uh, the first version of Odysseus, uh, as far as I know, it was uh, at the beginning only for the uh, boutiques uh, exclusive and the boutiques customer. Uh, the situation will be the same for the, uh, let's say, second uh, watch of the family? Well, it has simply to do with the fact that the demand for this watch is so big that because it's an Alange and Zünne watch and we have quite restricted uh, production capacity here, uh, you know, we have to work through the order bank um, and, you know, to, 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 to sort of structure it a little bit. That's why we said boutiques, internal and external will have the first offers simply because we could not send watches to everybody, um, then we would have no presentation. Uh, from what I see so far, unfortunately, the white gold version will go a very similar path. Um, so probably by summer, mm -hmm. again, I'm a little vague because um, it is hard to forecast at the moment when we'll be able to distribute the watch in at least some decent volume uh, because uh, of the situation. Uh, but if, and that's very likely in some of the case, then it will be first again in boutiques. Yeah, okay, also uh, connected to what you are saying, uh, Lange Zonia, relatively uh, low production numbers. We all know this, three, four, five, I don't know uh, what is the uh, quantity, but it's a low uh, production. And uh, like uh, everybody, also Lange Zonia had a kind of uh, break for the production. And uh, how it is going to affect your uh, complete situation uh, in terms of uh, production capacity? Because the health of our people comes first, it means that you have to apply certain conditions to deal with the situation. And, um, you know, if you have an understanding of fine watchmaking, then you know that to structure it means you reduce everything. So we had to reduce our production capacity significantly to avoid that people come too close to each other or that, you know, a whole group of people in the worst case get infected. Thanks God we had none of these events. Um, but, but, you know, it goes without saying, we're not living in normal times, so nobody can assume normal production uh, capacity in these times. Yeah. Uh, okay, first, uh, digital trade show. Uh, somehow it was interesting, uh, but uh, I think it is a little bit early to talk about it, but what is your uh, first feeling about that? Uh, some people are uh, talking about these digital trade shows is, are going to replace the uh, physical uh, trade show. Uh, do you think uh, a situation like this some, somehow uh, can happen in the future? Uh, you know, I wish I know. Uh, <laughs> very <laughs> difficult to predict. Um, but, you know, my general feeling is that once that crisis is over, um, all of us will be more digital than before. But I also believe that all of us will value personal relationships a lot more than ever before, um, which is, is actually quite opposite, but exactly yeah, yeah. that is what we're probably going to see. You know, there is such a hunger for social interaction not through the screen, but, you know, in a personal environment, in a physical environment, um, I think we will in future see how these two things complement each other and not substitute each other. Yeah, actually, it was one of the questions I was planning to ask you. Also, the physical events uh, are very important element for the uh, brands as a, a marketing. And, uh, of course, after this situation, uh, nobody knows what is going to happen. Uh, even if you invite the people for an organization, like maybe 100 uh, people, 200 people, uh, nobody knows mm. they will come and attend. Uh, but uh, what are you planning as uh, Lange Zonia? Again, it's difficult to reply, but uh, so just wondering your uh, feelings. 
look, we, we have a plan and, and, and one of the major features of that plan is that we apply a huge amount of flexibility. So at the moment we have a rolling plan and, you know, I am unfortunately not in a position to really understand when is the situation easing up uh, and where. Um, we, we live in totally unpredictable times um, and we have a target in mind, but at the moment we are adopting uh, permanently to an environment that is very volatile. Yeah, and according to many sources, I keep reading uh, here there, uh, of course, they are also estimating uh, which sectors, which markets will recover uh, soon or later. Uh, everybody is saying that uh, the luxury products, including the watches, uh, will be one of the most affected uh, market, and uh, most probably it will be uh, the last to recover. Uh, so, Langezonia, uh, what are you planning to overcome uh, these situations? Uh, what, what is your precautions? That's what we always do. We stay vigilant, we stay optimistic, we are careful with our resources, we maintain our DNA and our set of values, we'll take care of our people, clients and customers. That's what you can do at the moment. At the moment, only digital. We do it digital. If we can do it physical again, we will do it physical again. And, and you know, I think we went strong into the crisis, what comes strong out of the crisis. That's all I can say. Yeah. Don't ask me how long it's going to take because I don't know. Don't ask me whether we are the last or the first that come out. I don't know. And if anybody tells you he or she knows, I wouldn't trust <laughs> him or her. Yes, <laughs> Okay, I mean, my last question, are you in contact with your uh, customers? Uh, I know uh, you have many customers in contact uh, personally. Uh, so yeah. not only to them, but also to all uh, watch and uh, what, what are your uh, words, last words uh, for them? What are you expecting and uh, what are you uh, offering to them? I think even in dark days, you know that the sun is coming back. Um, and if you focus only on the problems, and I'm not saying neglect them or deny them, but we all need some positiveness in our life as well, a little bit of joy. Um, and, you know, for some people that's wine, paintings, music, and for others, it's, it's watches. And, and that's us, that's me, that's our customers. Um, and let's not forget that you know, despite all the challenges that we are facing, um, you know, sitting, enjoying your watch, enjoying news about watch, uh, listening to people talking about watches, reading about watches, can still be a source of joy. Um, and, and that's my last word, you know, let's, let's not focus only on the problems, let's also allow ourselves to enjoy the things that we really like. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mr. Schmidt, first of all, uh, thank you very much and congratulations for the novelties. You injected uh, a really a good energy uh, to the watch industry. And uh, we hope to see beautiful days. And uh, I hope uh, my next uh, interview with me, with you, uh, face to, will be face to face again. And uh, so thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for everything and uh, hope to see you again soon in person. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay sane.